our star brothers and sisters may speak to us in various ways. They may speak in the languages of sound, whether to our physical ears or to our astral ears. They may speak in the languages of light, or they may speak in a combination of these. From that, we may see that when we communicate their star messages to others, we may do so in the languages of sound, or in the languages of light, or in a combination of these. If the language we use is that of sound, then it is easy to record the sound and convey it to others. If we use both sound and light, then to a certain extent that may be conveyed through video recordings. If we convey sound to a physical gathering, then I feel certain teachings of light will flow forth to those present as well as our vocalized teachings. When our body of light is very clear and well activated, then simply through our light we can convey star messages by empathic channeling to others physically present. If others are at a distance and wish to hear, then remote empathic channeling may take place. That same channeling of star messages can occur for any light worker, pathfinder, way shore, or healer whose body of light is clear and well activated through the light worker's interface with our star brethren, whether nearby in our own solar system or perhaps in a faraway galaxy. I have found in a physical gathering that words of light sometimes channel through me, through my eyes, which appear to others to be flickering. This flickering of light appears to me to be a way of offering gifts of incoming light downloads and of the new DNA. Each person's pristine soul DNA to those standing before me. For me, proffering those ascension gifts of light is an automatic process, a process of my superconscious mind rather than my conscious mind. Thus I suggest for those of the light workers who channel words of light in this way, I find it may be best to physically move away from anyone who feels uncomfortable with this nifty way of gifting star messages through light. I feel my Ascension team began channeling light through me in that way as an alternative to channeling through spontaneous mudras which involve movements of the arms and channeling of light through the eyes and through physical gestures. In my case, especially hand gestures or mudras. In the year 2011, as I recall, I had been channeling light through spontaneous mudras in a spirit-filled, multi-ethnic, multi-generational, Christian Church in Northridge, California. The channeling had to do with the great music the band at the church played, which I found delightfully inspiring, and to the awakening of my baptismal self. On the negative side, I remember, I think it was on Sunday, 5 December 2011, being escorted out of the church by two burly ushers who backed me up against the exterior church wall so that the pastor of the church could condemn me as being possessed by Satan. For a while I was upset about my experience with that church. 
especially in light of the wonderful feeling of loving Christ consciousness I was then experiencing. I found out later, though, that another person had a similar experience at that church, and so I began to feel my experience with them in a less personal way. You can imagine why such an experience would have caused my team to switch from large physical gestures to unobtrusive gestures as a means of channeling the language of light. That's all for now. Everyone take care.